So since I've replaced the battery in my smartphone, now if you didn't see that video, you can go ahead and click here and that'll take you over there. Anyway, since I replaced the battery in my smartphone, now I noticed I've had some uh, some problems with, uh, with the sound. Uh, specifically with the microphone and and with the internal speaker. Now um, I need to need to kind of see what's going on here. Most likely it's it's a loose connection in there somewhere. The the Nexus 5 is notorious for having a loose connection to the daughter board from the motherboard. So uh, so we're gonna perform a little surgery today. Get in there and uh, and 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 uh, shore up that connection just a little bit. Now today, what we're going to use, we're going to have our our good old Nexus 5 here, and uh, we're of course going to have our, our warranty voiders, and uh, and we're going to use uh, just a little piece of uh, receipt tape uh, to uh, to uh, make that uh, just give it a little bit more pressure and get that connection just a little bit more secure. Anyway, so let's get started. We're going to start the same way by. Uh, same way we do anything by taking the back off of our Nexus 5 here, sliding that pick down in there and getting that going. Alright. Alright, now that we're inside, we're of course going to take the uh, six retaining screws off the, uh, the motherboard plate. bar and pull that right up. Give it a twist, a flick of the wrist. That's what the showman said. Okay, now what you'll see in here is I've actually uh, got a little piece of paper right there. So it's just a little folded up piece of receipt paper. Um, maybe maybe a millimeter maybe a half a millimeter worth there just to give it a little bit of uh give a little bit of pressure it's because i've already diagnosed this problem and i've already uh i've already played around with a little bit of solution so to solve your problem from scratch we're just going to tear off yeah maybe uh maybe an inch square of some receipt paper here we're just going to give her some folds just fold her right up Right in half, and then half again. And we just want to get uh, just get it just about the size of that uh, of this uh, daughter board connector right here. Tear off just a little extra there, and give that just one more little. That's gonna fit right on there, just like that. And what that's going to do, that's just going to give a little bit of pressure, just pushing down from the back plate right onto that daughter board connector, and make sure that thing's nice and solid. So the tricky part here is then putting this this uh, motherboard plate uh, back on in place and not moving that paper any. So we got her more or less in place. We're just going to take our little a little pry bar and just kind of give her a little tap right there so she sits in place correctly. And of course push down, pressure on the clips, make sure those pop back into place. And then of course we just uh, apply the screws back in reverse order. Make sure they're nice and tight, especially down here in this uh, this little bottom corner here so it holds that, holds that connection true. Good and tight there, a lot, of, a lot of downward pressure, holding all that together. Under pressure, pushing down on me, pushing down my connection. Strip it. Alright, not 
back in place and we just put our, our cover right back on, snap that all into position. Power up and see what happens. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. And there we go. Testing. Good as new. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, hit the subscribe button or check out some of the other videos in the library.